Hello, Hello guys! Welcome back to our <laughs> second live episode where we're going to dive deep into <laughs> the land of vitamin C. Yes, let's sneak peek some of the products bing, bing, we're going to show you guys today. A bing, 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 bing. This okay. is so cool. Yeah, so we have capsules, we have serums, we have moisturizers. We have literally and... everything under the sun. Yeah. And we just mess up the order. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys didn't tune in last week, this is our series that we're teaming up with Walmart to show you guys every week some of our favorite curations and product selections on specific skin concerns. So this week is obviously, as Rose said, on vitamin C, and we love vitamin C so much more on that later but mm -hmm. here are some little things you should know before we get started because it is a live shopping event yeah. <laughs> so this is our weekly series in partnership with walmart so every single item that we just showed you guys every single item we're going to be mentioning you guys will be able to shop live so yeah. if you're on your desktop or your phone you can just click on the link or click on the little mm -hmm. shopping bag yes and if you're on the tv you can scan the qr code which should be right there and you'll be able to shop live with us as well. Yes, and it's really cool because um, the QR code basically shows you the shelf and you won't be taken away from this like live stream as well. If you click on the products, it will just kind of open another window. So we're gonna be talking with you guys through it. So I don't know if that made sense just then, grandma. But if you have <laughs> questions, make sure you leave them in the little chat box below, talk amongst yourself. Um, if you wanna see like close up, texture shots, which we'll show you anyway, but we can definitely, you know, tailor it to what you guys questions, want. If there's specific questions, specific products, yes. anything, just let us know. Yes. And we're able to get you guys a little discount this time around. So yes. if you guys use Beauty Within 90 at checkout, you will get 5% off. This is exclusive only for this live and yeah. it will only last for 24 hours. So. Yes. Hop on that and in order to use the promo code this is just like some things we need to remind you guys you must um, or just to share with you guys you must be signed in or signed up for a free Walmart account to be able to use it so just mm -hmm. letting you guys know yes so shall we just get into our favorite most effective and affordable one not so affordable vitamin C products <laughs> So vitamin C for yes. fell. Okay, before we go to fell, yes. we'll talk about Rowena. Yes. So I love vitamin C mostly out of necessity. I've always had freckles growing up and I think vitamin C for me was just like a, a no brainer. If you wanna brighten your skin, if you wanna lighten hyperpigmentation, if you wanna fix sunspots, anything like mm -hmm. this is your go-to product. Mm -hmm. So I've been using this for years now. I think this yeah. is like the first active that I really, really loved. True. What about you? Yes, for me, um, it's also, related to hyperpigmentation but more for acne marks because i think ro has fairer skin and so she freckles really easily and some of you say like oh my god i love freckles why do you want to get rid of them actually freckles is a way that your skin protects itself by producing more melanin yes. so you kind of want to suppress it it's not that it's a bad thing you just want to reduce it because it will really help with like prolonging youthful skin yeah. so that by the time you know you're like beyond Older. repair yeah that it's not too late yeah so there are so many different ones so let's just get started on the first yeah okay here we go ding ding this is not a um stranger on our channel this is the first stroke of brilliance brightening serum so we're going to be talking all about the different derivatives um because you know, L-ascorbic acid is the most pure form, and then most of the serums you'll find that are in kind of the um, like approachable, easy to use formats are derivatives. Yeah. So this one, for example, sodium ascorbyl phosphate. Yes. So what that means is like it's kind of pros and cons. It's yeah. not as effective as pure vitamin C, but it works gently over time. So this one you'll see is this kind of really light like apple juice color yeah not amber <laughs> not amber yet if it turns amber that means it's oxidized yeah. um and i think Verst has these really beautiful textures where it's like just the perfect serum goop it actually it is a serum because you know how a lot of times vitamin c will come in a watery consistency yeah something like I don't know, is this more watery? Anyway, but this is like an actual serum and yeah. it gives you that glow. 
Yes, so you want to look at, because it's not about vitamin C just working by itself. It needs a lot of support from other ingredients that aren't actives, but also help you with evening skin tone. And this one is really good because it's got ni uh, niacinamide as well as licorice root, which are both really good overall evening and brightening ingredients. As well as that, it's got some red algae and any form of algae is really good at hydrating and it works together with a hyaluronic acid. So I feel like... If you're kind of stepping into the world of skincare, you're looking for something that's not too much. Yeah, like intense. you don't know yeah. if your skin works with it or not. Yeah. Um, then this is a great one because it's 1997. The thing with vitamin C, I feel like the golden standard, as we all know at this point, is ascorbic acid or L-ascorbic acid. But yeah. The thing is because it is so potent, it can potentially irritate your skin. Yeah. So I think something sensitive. like this with sodium ascorbyl phosphate, which is a water, it's a water soluble derivative of ascorbic acid, it will help ease you into the world of vitamin C. And yeah. I think at the end of the day, having tried like countless, countless vitamin C products, the way to go about trying vitamin C really is through trial and error. Yeah. Because we can tell you like, here are the things that worked for me, which will be very different from what work for Fel, which is going to be really different from what, what works for you. So just, I think personal try. preference yeah, as well. Personal preference and trying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but as a brand, I really love Burst. If you guys haven't heard of them, they're like EWG approved They're They have all the things, right? Um, it's like, vegan what else it's like there's no fragrance there's none of those uh phthalates or sulfates so it's a very clean brand um just kind of doing the most so this one is stable at ph7 which means it's very good for sensitive skin it's not going to irritate but just know that you're not necessarily going to get collagen production out of this by yeah. using it like for a week or two weeks, what you'll get is just evening and brightening, but the collagen and elastin production happens like six months to a year of prolonged use. So just keep that in mind for any of the products we mentioned today. Um, yes, so let's take some questions. Guys, questions on vitamin C. We know you guys love this topic. One, for, one question from Romaine is how to layer vitamin C on sensitive acne prone skin type. Is it okay to cocktail vitamin C serums with another vitamin C at the same time? Oh, so acne? Um, acne. Let's like break down this question a little. I yeah. feel like the, the, the surface, like the, what you're asking, is it okay to cocktail vitamin C with other serums? Ideally, no. I mean, I think... But yes. Yes, but no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think if you're just getting started out, if you want vitamin C to shine on its own, if you want to make sure this serum works, then ideally you just try it on its own. Yeah. But if you want to cocktail... You can cocktail, but yeah, just keep it simple. The great thing about formulations is that you want to find a formulation that's got the ingredients already in there that you don't necessarily have to cocktail. Yeah. So for example, this has vitamin B in it, which is niacinamide. So a lot of you ask, can vitamin C go with vitamin B? Yes. So you already found one that already has both of them in there. So if let's just say you want to cocktail with something else like alpha arbutin, instead of using two different um, serums in your routine, you could actually just find a serum that already has alpha arbutin. So it kind of minimizes the, you know. I just realized the question is, can you cocktail a vitamin C serum with another vitamin C serum? I'm oh. Finish reading it. <laughs> um, I don't feel I don't think it's necessary. Need. Yeah. Yeah. So just think about what it is that you want. Maybe take a like a one step at a time approach. First, go into it going, okay, I can stand. Um, Sodium ascorbyl phosphate. Actually, I now want something a little stronger. Yeah. Maybe I'll try the L ascorbic acid. Yeah. Bing. And then you can kind of go from there and be like, so if L ascorbic acid, which is the gold standard, works, then you probably won't need something yeah. like this. So then you kind of stay at that yeah. level. Yeah. And how to layer properly for more sensitive. I'm not sure about acne prone skin, but sensitive skin in general is there's the moisturizer sandwich that you could do. You can put on moisturizer, put on your vitamin C serum and put on moisturizer again to mm. really give you that buffer if your skin is super sensitive. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? We'll be including vitamin C powders as well. Oh, that's a good question. We, not in here, No. but I think it's that's like a fail proof. Just put yeah, but that also, it's like being chemist at home, which I think is cool, but also I don't know if I trust, 
even myself yeah. in like mixing my own concoction yeah. of vitamin C. So I would say just keep it simple once again. Don't like, there are so many good products, guys. Like this, oh my gosh, like don't get too fancy with it because yeah. it's already doing the most. And then how many times a week should you use vitamin C if you're just starting out? How much do you use it? I think if you're using... Oh, how often do you use it? I use it every day. Mm, so there I you tend, go. I tend to use it every day. You can, you can use, use it, every it every day, day right? It's mm -hmm. not something as intense as like vitamin A. Nope. And then another question from Elaine, is it true that you can't use vitamin C if using retinol? If oh, not, why? That's a good question. It's because retinol is like resurfacing your skin and vitamin C is very acidic. So let's say you're using the l acid. The pH level is at three for it to be really effective, right? So with um, some a product that's more acidic, it's at like the three level, then it's that's why it can be possibly problematic. And if you're resurfacing the skin, then you're kind of opening up a world of like potential irritation. Yeah. So just use one at a time. My suggestion is I love using vitamin C during the day mm -hmm. paired with a sunscreen. Yeah. And then you use your retinol products at night yeah. because it's regenerative. So then you just go like back and forth. Unless again, they're formulated together. Yeah, but then I you know. don't think there's many. Like some, like this one has retinol palmitate uh, and vitamin C, so mm. yeah. Yeah, so if you find it together, it's always a, a plus. Yes. All right. All right, next. Next. It's <laughs> like blazing talk, talk. through. We have so many. <laughs> okay, next is the Bliss Bright Idea Vitamin C Tripeptide Collagen Protecting Serum. I honestly just, the, l my love for Bliss serums are just going over the roof. Their Popping texture, up. Yeah. their consistency, the way they feel, they yeah. honestly all kind of feel the same. Mm in a good way because you know you can trust it. Yeah, it's like this boing boing, yeah. it's so light and like nourishing actually. Yeah. Um, this one's slightly milky in like color, Yeah. but it is so smooth when you glide it on your face. It's it like- It smells like a tangerine oh. too. <laughs> yeah. It smells like summer. Yeah, so this one is $24.97, so a little bit more than the Verse, but I think you also get a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and what this has over, let's say the Verse for comparison's sake, it's got licorice, which both of them have a little bit of vitamin E. And here's the thing, if you're looking for a vitamin C serum, there's two ingredients that help to stabilize it, which is really important because it helps you prolong the length of like the product's life. Um, vitamin E and ferulic acid. So if you see any product with either vitamin E or ferulic acid, the three best friends that anyone could ever have. <laughs> yeah, so they'll stabilize each other. They're like all harmonious. They work synergistically. So that's a little tip for you guys. If you look at the ingredients for you to be like, ah, Excellent. So this has vitamin E. It's also got green tea seed oil yes. extract and bisabolo. And, bisabolo. Yeah. and the tripeptide, which is yeah. mentioned in the thing. So what this is over this, I feel like, is more skin barrier friendly. Mm -hmm. um, With the peptides. Building. Yeah. yeah. Not friendly. They're both friendly, but like <laughs> they're both friendly. <laughs> I think friendly skincare products. Yeah. Um, but it's very like strengthening for yeah. the skin because of the bisabolo for calming and soothing mm -hmm. and the vitamin E. Ding. Um, but yeah, you can even see, oh, the derivative of this is 3 ascorbyl um, ethyl, ethyl ascorbic acid. acid. Yeah. So very similar to the ascorbyl phosphate. They're both within that really um, kind of like gentle, you really won't come across any sort of irritation <laughs> unless for whatever reason you're like yeah. allergic to that specifically, I don't know. But um, for the most part, there shouldn't be any sort of irritation. And to answer Nayli, Nayli's question, is vitamin C used only in the morning? No, you can use it morning and night. Mm. I like to, if my skin, okay. If I just walk out and am exposed to the sun as sometimes it happens mm -hmm. for like half a day, mm -hmm. and my, like, my freckles will come out in full force. Yeah. And I will, those will be like the weeks where I'll do morning and night. Mm. Just like straight up vitamin C, vitamin C, vitamin C, maybe exfoliating here and there. And on, mm -hmm. on the mornings or the evenings that I exfoliate, I won't use vitamin C, mm -hmm. but just to really double down and like get that lit from within, mm -hmm. even skin tone that, you know, you may want. True. Yeah, it really comes down to um, your skin, what you wanna target mm -hmm. and what works for you. I just feel like, Vitamin C paired with sunscreen is the most like 
I don't know. It's the most ironclad shield yeah. for antioxidants, so protecting your skin against free radicals. So always pair it with sunscreen, obviously, during the day, whatever you're using. But with a vitamin C, it's just like tenfold in what it can do to help protect your skin throughout the day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Next, do we have... Okay, so just before we go on, just a little reminder, if you're intrigued about any of the stuff that we're mentioning, there is 5% off. Use Beauty Within 90 at checkout, and you do have to have an account, but it's a free account. Um, All and... available on Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. Yes. All right. Next is this CeraVe Skin Renewing Vitamin C Serum. Guys, this is... It doesn't want to focus, but... Look at just yeah, look at fall. Okay, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, it reminds me of the Milano CC Japanese vitamin C because of the way that it's in this like foil, tube. like aluminum tube, and then with the little pointing thing. But when you open it, it's actually like this creamy. Wow! It's like how would you describe this, dude? It's to me, it's like a really light, smooth. Bomb liquid. <laughs> Smooth bomb liquid. That's that that is it. It's like a gel oh moisturizer. God, it's so good. Yeah. Oh my, I don't even know what I was expecting, but CeraVe is doing the most. They really are. This is what we we're saying earlier before we're getting started. I was like, CeraVe is just oh shooting higher God. and higher up my list of affordable skincare brands. Yeah, honestly, it's like so good. Why? Because it has pure 10% pure ellascorbic yes. acid so it's so effective but because it's CeraVe it's also formulated with the three essential ceramides ceramide NP ceramide something something <laughs> and all of that is to like build your skin so you know it's like counteracting and helping protect your skin from any potential irritation yeah. Um, while building it up doing the most. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll feel that it just glides over. It's so moisturizing and nourishing without stickiness. And it's like, you want to just keep spreading it everywhere. And guys, this is $14.92. This, honestly, of all the products we're, going, we're talking about today, this surprised me the most. Because mm. I don't know, like when you think of vitamin C serums, they literally come in every single form. I just imagine them to be more watery or just like, I don't know, like a, a It's either serum. watery or really oily. Yeah, but this is like the perfect balance. It's like Goldilocks. Yes. The porridge that's just right. But that's still doing a lot without being too like aggressive. Yeah. yeah. Guys, it is just insane. Like go and run and buy this now. You see it on the <laughs> screen? Okay, click that little button right now. And the cool thing is this <gasps> tube, it's actually helping with the stabilization of the ellascorbic acid. So if you find it in a dark tube or in an aluminum or whatever this thing is called, um like it's actually protecting the formula and just make sure with vitamin c especially like probably the only ingredient that you should be more vigilant on is the packaging date um as soon as you open this is effective so this little jar with the number m mm -hmm. that's how long you can use it before it goes and this rancid. one is six, six months yes so six months is very typical for vitamin c with all your other ones you'll probably find 12 months because they're not that like volatile yeah um, but anything most of the things with vitamin c yeah guys so good and like what the cheapest of all so yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay some more questions okay can you mix vitamin c with trenosomic acid in the same routine oh yes trenosomic acid is like really gentle <laughs> yeah and then another one is can vitamin c also be paired with bakuchio yeah. Bacuccio. Yeah, I guess so, because Bacuccio is kind of like a natural form of vitamin mm -hmm. A. Personally, I don't think I've experienced any sort of irritation. But once again, I think you just have to try for your own skin. Yeah. Know your level of tolerance um, and just kind of go And then it. also, in the ideal world, you just use a skincare product and let it shine and not feel the need to mix all of them. Because yeah. in theory, what you want with a vitamin a or like a vitamin C or a trinosomic acid. Let's just say vitamin C and trinosomic acid. It's about the same things, right? Yeah. So just let one of them shine and do its job. Last question on a pairing. Can vitamin C, um, can you use an AHA BHA with an 8%, sorry, can you use an AHA 8% essence with the vitamin C together? 
So two chemical, separate products. Chemical exfoliation and then vitamin C. Ooh, you might get Probably some drying. Not. Yeah, you might yeah. get some drying. You might even get some roughness from irritation. Once again, only because you want the vitamin C to work in the best way possible, right? So if it's L-ascorbic, use it as the first thing you put on because it's effective at a lower pH. Um, and just leave it alone, let it do its thing. Plus, serums are like the most potent step of your skincare routine. They are. So don't like overcomplicate it. Um, yeah. Honestly, simple is sometimes, no, simple is better yeah. when it actually comes to skincare. Yeah. So if you have a bunch of serums, it too much. I like totally, we totally get what you're talking about. We get about. it. Like you have five serums that you're just like in love with and you want to use them all. Like just space them out over the days or something. Yes. Especially if you get a new one, you want to know yeah. if it works, right? Okay. So let it shine. We need not say more about this one. You can just like blindly just like pick it up. <laughs> Add to cart. Click, yeah, click Check that out. button. Okay, next. Okay, next. Insta Natural Skin Brightening Serum. So this is a serum that we found a few years ago. Like three years Yeah, when years we did ago. a Walmart haul video. So interesting how things come full circle. Back around. And the coolest thing about this is it has this deep, deep orange carrot color. Yes. So this one, similar to the Versed, mm -hmm. has the sodium ascorbyl phosphate. It also has aloe leaf juice, alpha arbutin, niacinamide, licorice root, and the turmeric root is what gives it that vibrant color. And yeah. there's also green tea leaf extract. So this one is as soothing as it is brightening. Yeah. With and all like, those ingredients. Oh, it flicked everywhere. Yeah. But don't worry about this like going onto your skin. We'll put some B-roll on now. When you actually like work it in. Oh, sorry. I, I don't know what I'm actually <laughs> doing. But when you like work it in. It's so lightweight, it's so fast absorbing that it's not like you have a layer of orange foundation on oh, your yeah. skin. Oh <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't, it's not gonna do that. Yeah. This is just, yeah, okay, anyway. Yes. <laughs> um, so that's really interesting. And turmeric, I don't know, I like turmeric as an ingredient, obviously to ingest. Um, but what I love about this isn't necessarily the turmeric, it's the alpha arbutin mm. because alpha arbutin and vitamin C are like the best of friends for brightening, evening out your skin tone, really like just telling the melanocytes to chill out, to stop producing pigment. So if you have like age spots, if you have acne marks, if you have freckling, if you just have like discoloration, these ingredients are like the go-to. I think vitamin C is doing the most for any sort of uneven, blotchy, melanin-produced skin concern. Yeah. Yes. Milk Tea says, that color is crazy. It is indeed. Crizzle. Bright. Yes. Vibrant. Um, and actually, Insta Naturals as a whole brand has like many, many different types of serums and they're all really great. I think um, not scary formulations, mm -hmm. but they do do the work because they formulate with really good combinations. So you can check out their whole line. It's very similar to like, I don't know, it's actually very similar to, eh, I forget that. I, don't, I forgot what the brand is called. <laughs> <laughs> Carla asked, can you use vitamin C with hyaluronic acid? If so, which would you put on first? I mean, a lot of these serums a you'll find... A lot of them have hyaluronic acid in them, <laughs> yeah. But if you want to do a boost of hyaluronic, feel yeah. free to, because hyaluronic Before is Before and like... after work, works fine. Um, I would say use the vitamin C first, first. because of the, the acidic level. Mm. So put it onto your skin first and then boost Give it with the your hydration. hyaluronic. And then coat it with a very moisturizing moisturizer. Yes. All right. Any questions? Any questions on any of these mentioned, leave them in the chat. And just to remind you guys, that's 5% off, Beauty Within 90. And this, um, you'll find all the products on the screen. All right, I need a, I need a little drink. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. <laughs> guys, you don't know. Talking for an hour straight, be, be uh, okay, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Look, it's even on brand Alitza for vitamin C. Alitza says, I love how your outfits correspond to the vitamin C theme. And now we're drinking some. Izzy, sparkling water to, to calm ourselves down. Wait, this is really good. Okay. Oh, yes. Sustenance. Just like when you put a serum on your face. Okay, next. Um, True skin. 
Wow, guys. So this out of all the products that we're going to mention probably has the most reviews on Walmart. Um, there's about 12,000 reviews, which kind of says a lot. And it's this tiny little bottle, which is excellent because part of the reason that we throw away a lot of our skincare or it goes rancid is because the bottles are too big and we yeah. don't end up using it. So anyway, this is like a really translucent, milky, almost like aloe vera looking consistency. And it's beautiful for that like refreshing glow mm -hmm. it's very lightweight i almost feel like that and Verst are very similar in it being the most lightweight mm. serum formulation this is quite watery yeah i would say of all the ones we're talking about today this one's the most the wateriest but it's not it's like first. full water yeah yeah. It's not like a toner. Some yeah. are actually. But it gives you like when you put it on your skin, it gives you that feeling as if you put on a very refreshing hydrating toner. Yeah. It's not sticky. It instantly absorbs yeah. into the skin. So what does this have and why is this so popular? Well, first of all, it's got vitamin E. So we know it's stabilizing the vitamin C, which is in the form of sodium ascorbyl phosphate. Very effective. Um, it's non-irritating. It does the job of everything you want a vitamin C to do. Just takes a little longer compared to ellascorbic yeah. acid. It's also got go to Kula, which is actually just Centella <laughs> Asiatica. So it's very like calming, <laughs> soothing. It's good for redness, irritation. Um, there's a little bit of witch hazel. So if your combo could help balance out some sebum production going on. Aww. And I just feel like Celine says this is the first serum she ever tried. Ah! Sorry, Selena. What did you think of it, Selena? Are you still using Share it? Share your thoughts. Do you swear by it? Right now. And this is this True Skin brand is also really cool because they have a whole line of really they good do. like vitamin A, yeah. niacinamide, vitamin C. It just yeah. makes it so easy. Bing, bing, bing. And then James says, hello from LA. Where's everyone else tuning from? Guys, we're in New York. It's back to being cold. It's like such a The moody. weather was really nice and then now it's not nice again. Yeah. So that's that's where we are. That's yes. Um, so yeah, guys, leave your questions on this one below. I actually really enjoyed this. I haven't tried any of the True Skin. Heard about it because it's kind of like those cult favorites everywhere for like affordable and effective vitamin C serums. Glad we got to pick this up and try it for this Walmart Live. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Like this and this, awesome. But this is awesome. more effective. <laughs> All right, next is the Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Face Serum. So this, we have a very great guys. story and proof that vitamin C works okay, with guys, sunspots, yes. hyperpigmentation, everything. So one of our coworkers came to us and she's like, hey, I have this dark patch on my hand. So you'll see in the pictures What now? do I do with it? Yes. And we're like, use some vitamin C. We actually gave her this exact serum. She came back to us after a few weeks of using it. She's like, guys, what just happened? This dark patch disappeared. It went away. Yes. So basically she was driving. She was on a road trip and one of her hands was driving yes. for hours on hours. The whole hand was speckled with freckling. Like it had just created a life of its own, an ecosystem of melanin on its own. And she's like, and when she showed, I was like, what the heck is this? Melanin okay. on Mel's Vitamins, hands. yes, <laughs> Melina. So she had never used vitamin C before. And it just so happened, this was in the drawer as the first thing. Um, and then we're like, okay, just try this. It's vitamin C. And Derma E has been around forever. They're like the most understated brand ever. They actually started because vitamin E, as we know, is a really good nourishing ingredient. So yeah. all their products are kind of based off that. Um, so it soothes with aloe. It's like your classic serum consistency. Yeah. A little bit goopy, not oily, fast absorbing. There's a lot of it as well. Mm -hmm. And it completely... And it just, works. Oh my God. It Period. Was like, I think it was in two weeks she yeah. came back and was like... That before and after photo, when I saw it, I was like, wow. This is... We should actually send it to Derma for them to use because... Yeah. Uh, <sighs> photos speak more than words. What is that saying? A photo speaks a thousand words. Picture shows a, a thousand words. Guys, what am I trying to say? Please help me say what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway. Um, so what this has over the other ones is probiotics. Mm. So probiotics help the skin barrier. It feeds the healthy bacteria that's like living its little life on our faces, which is good. 
Um, and it has this kind of refreshing kind of mm. sweet citrus scent. Nothing too obnoxious. Yeah. And um, Derma E being Derma E, they don't, too, they don't put too much crazy fragrance in yeah. this, Jeff. Yeah. Um, this also has a little bit of green tea leaf water. Actually, now that we look at it, all of them have a lot of green tea leaf water. Yeah. In, yeah. So they're all very soothing while also trying to help you brighten your skin. Yeah. And once again, guys, if you want to shop or try or buy any of these products, you can use Beauty Within 90 yes. at checkout to get 5% off just for this live. And then yeah. it's available for the next 24 hours. Moving on there to these Neutrogena Rapid Tone Repair 20% Vitamin C Serum Capsules. So have you used oh capsules my before? I think I've this. used the one from Beauty Bay, mm -hmm. um, which I really love, but that one's more of like ceramide skin rebuilding. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, when I first saw this, it actually reminded me of the Vichy, but not like as <laughs> intense. Ding! They look like little, um, little like batons. You like this? And then it's like miniature. Well, they look like little chicken drumsticks. And then you just juggle with them. Anyway, yes. here you go. It's so cool. Okay, so what I I very first came across these kind of capsules, mm -hmm. Elizabeth Arden, like OG. They have um, these capsules, also in vitamin A and vitamin C. Yeah. My mom loves them, and when I saw Neutrogena had them, I was like, oh my god, have to try because those ones are like ninety plus dollars. Yeah. And that this has a beautiful one, texture as well. This one's like nine ninety seven. Nine ninety seven, guys. And from memory, this is also twenty percent. What are you trying to Yes, twenty percent ascorbic acid. Pure ascorbic acid. acid. Yeah. So this actually reminded me a lot of the Vichy, but the Vichy ampoules in the glass, which is scary, and that's only ten percent. Yeah. This one, and then I like didn't really know what to expect from inside this capsule. I thought it'd just be super watery, but it's actually this like milky, creamy. Yeah, let's Texture pop one here. open. Okay. So you basically, you, you pinch, you twist, and then it comes off. And then it just starts coming out. And then... And that's enough for one use. Yes. So you just pop that all over your face. And then it has a very, like, slightly mattifying texture. I think mm. it's because of the dimethicone. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not going to... It's not glowy like these ones. Yeah, it's not going to be like super glowy, but I ain't mad because it's literally 20%. Dude, it's like acid. also doing the most. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then don't yeah. forget the top from the 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 top thing. There's there's product ah, in the top too. The secret stash yes. in the top. And the thing is, these little pouches are made from their their seaweed derived um, capsule yeah, and Yeah, and they're water biodegradable capsules. capsules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, don't have to think about it ruining the planet because they're yeah. biodegradable. You get the most, like a shot. So I feel yeah. like this is, if you want some kind of instant brightening overnight, this is something that can really help with it. Like truly If you have a big event, if you have a photo shoot, but that's on, that only is relevant to if you've used vitamin C before and if you've used ascorbic acid or else ascorbic acid and you know that your skin's not sensitive to it. Yeah. Because if you have a big shoot coming up or if a big event coming up and then you use it for the first time and your skin's like, yeah. I'm mad at you, then so you'll work. find it in this little tube. This is actually the small one. There's a bigger one too. So um wanted to show this small one because it's a good entryway mm -hmm. so if you're into it get the big one because there is a bigger one as well t so. said "Ooh, it's kind of like popping pimples and she's like i'm sorry girl don't be sorry oh, i think it's fun it's yeah. very satisfying that's why people like dr pimple popper is like super viral because people oddly enjoy things like that uh, yeah so that is true and Selena asked, do you guys like the Vichy vitamin C ones? I actually really do like the Vichy ones too, the, especially the ampoule. That's like a straight dose, but it's also very similar to this. So mm. yeah, it really is up to you whether you want to go through like the cracking of the glass or you just want to squeeze something out of a little seaweed pouch. Yeah, <laughs> they're both also pure oh, L-scopic A little acid. seaweed pouch is like a kangaroo of the sea. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Way through life. As you start talking about this, I will look at some questions. Okay, so this is the Obagi C C exfoliating day lotion. So this is the only lotion that we're featuring 
in this um, live shopping. And here's a few things to note. Serums are the most effective because they come early on in your skincare routine. It's also serums are concocted and formulated as the most potent um, because then by the time you get to your moisturizer, it's like you've already kind of created multiple layers. So it's harder for the active ingredient to kind of like, you know, sink into the skin in a way a serum does. But this one is really good because What's it got? Oh, yes. It's also got glycolic acid as well as arbutin and the vitamin C. Mm -hmm. So the arbutin is another kind of like, it's alpha arbutin, right? It also helps with building your skin barrier as well as brightening it. And it's this really fluid texture. Like when you think, when you say lotion, this it's is a basically lotion. a lotion yeah. texture. Blue, 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 blue. It is a little bit fragranced, which is my only kind of like thing with it. It reminds me of the 90s. The branding reminds me of the 90s and the smell reminds me of the 90s. Yeah, it's yeah. like it got stuck in time. But I know Obagi has really great products because you really Derms... You like their... Uh, it, was a, it was another vitamin was a, C thing. Wait, I think it was a vitamin A. The retinol. Uh, yeah. With a little the, like... The, 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 yeah, it would be... No, this little Star Wars looking thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, in Australia, because I first saw it because Derms would um, suggest using this one too. It is a little bit more expensive at $78.50. So I feel like if you're looking for something that's really effective on the skin, maybe serums are the way to go. But if you want to get into it um, slowly, you want a little bit of a buffer, but also looking at a vitamin C moisturizer will be a good start. Yeah. Yeah. And would you, I mean, I think if I use something like this, I would just wash my face, tone it, and just put this on. Yeah. It's like a simple one and done. Yeah, like a hyaluronic or a niacinamide, yeah. and then go in with this one. Yes. So as you guys are watching, hopefully you found a product or two that you've been eyeing. And if you are, um, and if you want to, you know, Take a peek, try it out. Make sure you remember to check out with code Beauty Within Ninety to get your five percent off. Yeah, guys, we're Woo about to wrap, so please leave any of the questions on the products we mentioned in the chat. We'll get to those right now. Yeah. And um, ah, oh, 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 olo. Sorry, olo, ol, ol, oluchi. Lucci said, you ladies are glowing. Ah, maybe it's the vitamin C. I actually have a bunch of these products on my face right I know, now. Same. Um, and none of them really caused any irritation, honestly. But that's also because we used a lot of like active ingredients yes. in our lives. And after this live, we're actually going to continue our live on our Beauty Within Inner Circle community. Yeah. So make sure you guys join us there if you want to continue. And Chatting. the difference between something like this is instead of just like, you know, you guys watching us, we'll actually be able to Zoom. It's like a Zoom chat together. So whether you want to turn your camera on, uh, introverts chat. are quaking right now. So yes. you, don't, you don't need to turn your camera on, but like we can just all chat as if we're one big family because yes. we are. And then, so next week, we're talking all about the essentials of a skincare routine. So we're doing this every Sunday at 3 p.m. Um, Until April 10th. Yeah, Eastern Standard Time. Um, and so, yes, essentials of any skincare routine, no matter what age, no matter what skin condition or skin type you are. And then the Sunday after that, which will be our last live with Walmart. For um, now. Yes, for <laughs> now, is pause. We know you guys love talking and asking us questions about how to minimize the look of our pores. Pores are essential. It's like the, They're very needed the for our skin. The yeah. nostrils to breathe. <laughs> but for our skin. But for our yeah. skin. So we've been talking about different ways to kind of tackle minimizing our large filled up pores from tools to little like contraptions and obviously ingredients and products that can help you with that. So we hope you can join us next week. Same time right here on our channel. Um, and yeah, if anyone has any last minute questions, we're here. The QR code is there for you to shop. 
And then one other thing、um, aside, so of course these are all the lives. And then next week, this coming sorry, this upcoming Wednesday, we'll have a video dedicated to the Sephora sales.、So、yeah. So make sure to keep an eye out for that for our normal video. There's our always scheduled videos. A lot coming up on the channel. We just yes. Like, we spend five minutes trying to introduce ourselves and like end it all the time. But thank you for everyone who's joining.、Yeah. I hope like this was a good time. If we do another set of live. Lives. Like, please tell us which times work best and all that because I don't know. It's it's hard when it's worldwide. Grace asked if you have active pimples, will vitamin C help? Really?、Um, if you have active pimples, I wouldn't use I vitamin, vitamin C vitamin to C, really、yeah. help with reducing inflammation and helping you know calm it down. I would use vitamin C as the post recovery. You know, after you kind of settled it. So yes. Yay. All right, and the other questions: Can team use vitamin C? Ooh, another question was, when is the earliest, or when is a good age to start using vitamin C? I feel like vitamin C is great for any age.、Hmm. Um, just start like really simple. Yeah, because it will always be good for your skin. I don't think you need to start with something like this, where it's like pure. Even if you do, I think it's fine. But、yeah. just you know, especially these serums that are concocted with a bunch of other hydrating ingredients, I think it's a great place to start.、Mm. I honestly didn't start taking skincare seriously until maybe like my mid twenties,、mm. and I think my skin is fine.、Mm. Um, yeah, but I think the most important thing. Is actually sunscreen rather than like vitamin C. Yeah. Because vitamin C, I think it's still more fixing something after it happened, while、um, sunscreen is like prevention. So, something to keep in mind. And your lifestyle and your diet and all that's very important. Hence, beauty within. Ding. Any other questions? Any other questions? Um. 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 Any other questions? I'm so thirsty. Grace,、thirsty. you are telling us to answer your question, but I think we already answered it. I think that's it. So actually, though, if you guys want to know,、um, out of all of these, if I was to rank how effective it is, it would be this, this one, this one for sure. And then the rest of them are also really great, but they kind of fall all in the category of very like mild but effective. So they're all affordable, mild, and effective. So it's the Verst, the True Skin, the Bliss, the Derma E, and the、um, Insta Naturals, which you can all find on the screen.、Um, shop through the little QR link, and it really comes down to. Knowing your skin, yes. Knowing your skin and hydrating it because actually sometimes you guys use vitamin C for hyperpigmentation, and a lot of that can actually be helped just through hydration itself. And sometimes some of you say like I have acne skin and dry. That can also be fixed through just plain hydration. And I think like something like this is actually more hydrating than it is vitamin C sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great for that as like a multi-purpose. Aww, Selena said, "We'll always love all that is beauty within." Thank you. And then Donnie asked, "Can I not wear sunscreen under the mask? COVID mask? I would actually okay. So I do get lazy, and sometimes I will not wear it under my mask. However, for myself, I remind myself to wear it const like consistently because." If I like, if I were to take it off, or if there's any moments of like exposure, I just want to make sure that it's protected.、Mm. And I think with sunscreen, it's just like consistency with use. And I think finding a good sunscreen that won't make your skin feel suffocated is also very helpful. So for me, I really love the Supergoop Unseen, and I feel like it does a great job of like not feeling like. Like sometimes if sunscreen's too fragrant, that's all you smell, and、yeah. it can get kind of nauseating. Yeah. So I think Supergoop, their whole line is pretty great. It just. Being and getting in the habit of being consistent with doing something. Yeah, and if you're wearing a mask all day, just keep very lightweight gel kind of consistencies. If you have combo skin, just so you're not breathing in like, you know, this kind of recycling of air, and it's trapping your pores, and it's also got thick skincare on there.、Um, 
So yes, all of these products, you can go back and watch this video because it is recorded on our channel. Um, and make sure you use the Beauty Within 90 code for the 5% off. It will be valid for the next 24 hours. And yeah. We'll see you in our community. We'll also link that right now and in the description. So, And we'll see you next week. 3 p.m. Make sure that be there. Be there, be, be square. square.